been looking for you for hours. Why'd you come here? It's not safe. I wanted to see you pass by. I didn't think you'd notice me. Listen, I've only got ten minutes to catch my train. Here, take this. I've seen Mrs. Hubley. It's a receipt for your rent. It covers two weeks in advance. And here's some money to keep you going in a week or two. As soon as I get to the front, I'll make all arrangements about my pay and everything. And then if anything happens to me, well, you'll be all right. Roy, do you know why I've been trying not to marry you? This is how they told you. Told you everything? I, uh, I don't care. You've got to marry me. It wasn't your fault. You had to do it. It's all over now, Roy. Look. Come on, lady, you've got to move him. <laughs> it's all right, officer, he's coming. I'll catch him if you'll promise to hurry me when I come back. If you don't, all the MPs in London won't let me catch that train. There you are, lady. Tell your friend you're married. You don't want to get a good soldier shot at dawn, do you? <laughs> you better go, Roy. Will you marry me? Of course you'll marry you. Now, soldier, come on, you come with me. Uh, will you? You ain't round here much more. We're all going to get blown up. And it won't make no difference whether she buries you or not. Byron. All right, Roy. I'll marry you. Oh, Goodbye. Goodbye, darling. I'll think of you always. Every minute. Come on, Sonny. Cheerio, darling. <laughs> 